all forms of suffering basically spring from our inability to allow things. Seemingly, it springs from our inability to accept things the way they are. There is no struggle, there is no suffering if there is no argument. If I do not argue with whatever is here right now, whatever the situation is right now, then I have nothing to fear, I have no suffering. There is no, if I want what's here right now, if I'm okay with that completely, then suffering can't exist, can it? Now this is probably nothing new for you, but the the myth is, or the the misconception is that we have to um, we have to do this allowance, we have to do this acceptance, we have to create it, we have to cultivate it. But if I consciously decide to allow a situation, because seemingly it, we all are telling you that it's perfect, right? So if it's perfect, then I have to allow everything and then it will be perfect. But if I undertake the act of allowing, then that's just another way of denying that the moment just before I started to allow it, that it wasn't perfectly fine. So the non-allowance of the situation should also be perfect, if everything is perfect. If life is however it is, then even the, the practice of allowance is kind of a tricky business, because it's in itself it's a denial of perfection. So then, what to do, right? <laughs> I have a suggestion, that is, Instead of trying to become allowance, instead of trying to become somebody who accepts everything, notice how your very nature itself is allowance already. So don't try to create allowance. Instead, see that something is already allowing everything, or else it wouldn't exist. And you could call it many names, you know. You could call it love, you could call it God, if you will. You could call it the source, you could call it life, you could call it awareness. But the fact of the matter is that uh, the very fact that something arises proves irrefutably that you are the allowance of the appearance. You are the allowance of whatever is here, or else it wouldn't be here. It wouldn't appear. So there is already an allowance, because it's here. If an emotion arises, a really strong emotion, I can't say it's wrong, I have to accept it. So now I'm going to accept it. I love you, fear. I love you. It can work sometimes. It can initiate then, wow, that openness to what's already here. But for most people, this just keeps being this nasty cycle of struggle. So instead, why not simply see that everything is already allowed to be as it is? Your very nature as awareness embraces everything, every perception within itself, without preference, without. Um, without argument. There is no existential argument anywhere. Nothing is in conflict with anything else. You, what you are, meaning your nature, and if I say your nature I don't mean every thing you can think of or do or act upon or enact or express, but your nature must be your nature. Huh? Your nature, meaning whatever you do or don't do, your nature is your nature. It's it's unchangeable. So it's simply here. And every experience you're having is confirmation, is proof, is evidence of the fact that it's allowed to be already. So there's the awareness here which doesn't make any argument with anything, with nothing whatsoever. So even when you don't feel, when you don't have the feeling of I'm allowing everything to be as it is, but if the feeling is total conflict, then simply notice that something apparently allows this to be because it's here <laughs> and there's nothing that ever escapes this allowance the great allowance is already perfectly the case we can simply confirm this to ourselves you know it's really a game of confirming to ourselves what's already true in order to recognize freedom in our own experience that's all that's all this entire game is about it's about seeing what's already allowing seeing what's already perfect with everything as it is. And that doesn't mean that changes cannot be made. In fact, they will be made much more efficiently and much more authoritatively than before. But they will spring from this love because if you know, if you recognize again and again that you are this love which already allows everything, 
Apparently, because everything is allowed, everything is here, as it is, and this great allowance that you are, in which the world moves, the world moves through your allowance of it, then you recognize that awareness is not just awareness, it's not a witness, it's not an observer, it's, it's love, it's complete and total self-love. And by self-love I don't mean the narcissistic kind of love, it's not a personality who's in love with itself, it includes that too. But self-love means that life itself, or love itself, loves itself in all its forms. It allows itself to be. The allowance is already the case, so don't try to become allowance. Don't try to cultivate allowance, because that will just be another state of mind. And then we'll, there will still be a sense of separation all the time. Because as soon as an emotion arises, it's this cultivated attitude of, oh, I'm going, I'm going to allow it. And even if it creates some sense of peace, which is fine, but if it can't, um, if it's not seen and known that the allowance is already always the case, that you are the allowance, then there will always be this sense of separation, which too is included by the allowance, or else it could not be here. <laughs> so the very fact that I'm speaking to you right now, the very fact that you're listening to me, the very fact that you're having this experience, whatever emotion or thought or idea may arise, it doesn't matter because it's allowed already, it's forgiven already, there is no sin, there is no mistake, there is no wrongdoing. And from this knowing, from this recognizing that allowance is already the case, there is a love, there is a love with all things, you know, and there's no fear to engage in life, there's no fear to be with people, there's no fear to help out, 